We're in kindergarten today cooking up some green eggs and ham. Yeah, and I've got the pan so the ham won't stick to the pan. And I brought thing one so we can have some fun, but don't make a mess. Yeah, I promise to try my best. So let's get started. First, we have to crack the egg. Yeah, on my head. No, not on your head, into the pan. Then we're gonna need to add some milk. Mmm, cats love milk. It's not for you, it's for the egg. Fine. And then we add a pinch of salt. Yeah, a pinch. That's not a pinch, Sorry. that's a handful. Sorry. Then we add the ham. Yeah, that's the reason why we need Pam. And then we add some coloring for the food. After that, we give it a nice stir. Do I hear a purr? Sorry, looks good. While she's stirring that up, let's find out what we're having for lunch today. This is gonna be delicious. Street Lions, we're back at another day of school after four grueling days of FCAT. But get this, Savannah, there's only four more. Four more? Four more days of what? NRT. You can't forget about NRT. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to faint. Don't worry, Savannah, we're Lime Street Lions and we're prepared. You're right, we have studied. Yeah, and our teacher's been working us hard to get ready for this, and we know you're prepared too. Yeah, so get prepared to say the pledge to the flag. Corinthia, even though my brain feels like mashed potatoes. Mine feels like jello. Doesn't mean I haven't lost my appetite. Yeah, where'd you put those Girl Scout cookies? I need my brain food for the test. But now, here's what's on the lunch menu. Welcome to School Lions. Today is Tuesday, October 24, 2006. I'm Savannah. And I'm Corinthia. And the big news around school is that we're having a book fair. But not just any book fair, Corinthia. It's the Reading Rainforest Book Fair. And the rain has brought us a cold front. And Jonathan's here to tell us about today's chilly forecast. But don't forget about the Red Ribbon Run. Yeah, we have those highlights on today's show. But before we can do any of that, let's stand for the Pledge to the Flag. Here's Julianne Waller to lead us in the pledge. That sounds like a howling good book. Yes, and you can get that book and many more at our book fair. Or you can win it free. Well, how are you going to do that? Let's pick some names out of the hat to win a free book at the book fair. Let's get to it. Now here's the primary drawing for K through second grade. And the winner is... Clayton from Miss Nichols' class. Congratulations. And now let's do the intermediate, which is third through fifth. Oh, pick me, pick me, please. The winner is Caitlin from Mrs. Davis' class. Congratulations. Lime Street Lions. How? Today is Friday, November 17th, 2006. I'm Savannah the Pilgrim. And I'm Corinthia the Singing Bird. And we're getting ready to eat our Thanksgiving dinner with Miss Sargent's class. And boy, does it smell good. Yum. But while we're waiting for the food to be served, here's some Pilgrims and Indians from Mrs. Sargent's kindergarten class to lead us in the pledge. This pumpkin pie is delicious. Yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> you need your picture taken. In fact, picture retakes are being held in the media center today. You will be notified when it is your turn to come. And remember, join us tomorrow at the Lakeland Square 10 Cinema. Meet there at 1030 for a special feature of Happy Feet. Hope to see you there. Man, I don't think 
think I can eat another bite. I'm as stuffed as a turkey. Well, we hope you have a great Thanksgiving. And we'll see you after the break. I'm Street Lions. Today is Wednesday, December 20th, 2006. I'm Serena. And I'm Corinthia. And we're visiting the firehouse. In a few minutes, I'm going to be cooking something good in the kitchen. And I'm going to be having a chat with Miss Miranda. But for now, let's stand for the Pledge to the Flag with Veronica and Miss Sloan's class. Thanks, Jonathan. The Salvation Army canned food drive has ended. Mrs. Taylor's class and Mrs. Spout's class brought in the most cans and will get a treat. Thank you for supporting our community. And also, Lions Library books are due by tomorrow. Sunshine State readers may be checked out over the Christmas holidays. Hey, Savannah, can you believe it? It's only five more days till Christmas. That's great. I am so excited. And here are the Lime Street cheerleaders to join in the celebration. Thanks, girls. That's our show for today. Have a wonderful Wednesday. And we're going to enjoy this wonderful breakfast. killing me. Yeah, and now let's move on to today's announcements. Here they are. The walkathon is tomorrow. Kindergarten, first and second grade will walk at 9.15 and third through fifth at 1 p.m. So get your feet and moving. Valentine treat bags are still on sale in front of the cafeteria from 7.45 to 8.10. Get a bag full of goodies for just 50 cents for the person you love. And there is still time to order 2006-2007 yearbook. The cost is just $22 for a book filled with this year's memories. Lions are today is Tuesday, October 31st, 2006. Halloween. I'm Sailor Savannah. And I'm Captain Corinthia. And we're in search for the Flying Dutchman. And hopefully SpongeBob. Oh, I think I'm getting seasick. Well, before she turns green, let's stand for the Pledge to the Flag with Brandon and Mrs. Roberts' fourth grade class. All right, mateys, if you're going trick-or-treating tonight, here are some safety tips to keep you and your family safe. Halloween safety tip number one, never trick or treat alone. Number two, only visit houses where the lights are on. Number three is carry a flashlight. Number four, be very conscious of strangers. Number five, check your candy before you eat it. And Never go 
inside a house. That is a very good safety tip. Land ho! Aw, I wanted SpongeBob. Well, that's our show for today. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Today is Freedom Friday, September 29, 2006. I'm Corinthia. And I'm Savannah. Kayla wraps up the week with our patriotic symbol. I've learned a lot about our country. And we hope you have too. If you're thinking pizza. That's what's on today's lunch menu. Johnson has our weather forecast. I have a feeling it's going to be a beautiful day. Well, Savannah, let's get today's show started. Here's Jalen and Miss Bundy's second grade class to lead us in the pledge. Thanks, Jalen. And now let's find out about our final American symbol. Here's Kayla Jamek. Thanks, Kayla. The White House has been standing for 200 years. Wow, i like to explore some of those rooms, rooms if I ever get to go to the White House. Yeah, come to think of it, it must take a long time to clean all those rooms. But you know something that doesn't take me a long time to clean? What? My lunch tray, because I'm hungry. Yeah, let's ask Heather what else we're having with that scrumptious pizza. Lions. Don't you mean Merry Christmas? Well, Christmas time is a happy time. You're right. Today is Friday, December 15th, 2006. I'm Savannah. And I'm Corinthia. And we're so glad you can join us on today's show. Because we're putting some finishing touches on our Christmas decorations in the studio. That's right, we're making a Christmas wreath. We'll start right after the Pledge to the Flag. Here's Rebecca from Mrs. Roberts' fourth grade class to lead us in the pledge. Thanks, Rebecca. Corinthia, let's get started on our Christmas wreaths. You're right. The first thing you need is a paper plate. Cut out a circle along the center. It will look like this. Or you can just use it as a halo. What seri but seriously, you need to cut out designs from construction paper to make things like maybe teddy bears, trees, hearts, or even stars. Then you take your glue and you glue them down along the edge of the wreath. And now here's Heather with the lunch menu. Thanks, Heather. Wow, Savannah, our reefs are coming along great. Yeah, you're right, and I had another idea you could use. What? You can take designs out of coloring books. Yeah, or you can just be creative. Make your own designs. These will go really nice outside. You're right, and speaking of outside, let's ask Jonathan about today's weather forecast. Thanks, Jonathan. Well, we're almost finished with our wreath. But before we show you, here are a few important announcements. Serves up, Lions! And it really might be after the tropical storm Ernesto. That's right, Savannah. Today is Friday, September 1st, 2006. Get ready to use your brains this morning because we're going to enter the science zone. But first, let's stand and salute the flag. Here's Hannah Shirouse from Mr. Shellnut's third grade class. And you'll probably use four steps in science this year. Man, this is so cool picking up objects with the forceps. While Savannah is picking up objects on the table, let's find out what the cafeteria ladies have picked out for our lunch today. Here's Heather. Savannah, hand over the forceps. But it's so much fun picking up little shells. It's so cool. I asked nicely. Fine, I'll do all my practicing on Monday. Speaking of Monday, there will be no school in celebration of Labor Day. Yay, that gives me more time. Have a great three-day weekend. <laughs> 